Hello and welcome to Hydro at Home. I've got here uh, my completed unit which I've uh, been working on. I've had it finished for the last couple of weeks and I've just been um, doing a few tests every couple of days just to see um, what it's putting out and what it can do. Uh, at the moment uh, my power capabilities are a bit limited so I had it hooked up to the car the other day and put about 30 um, amps into it but um, yeah, until I get another power supply or another alternator and um, a clip-on uh, amp meter and all that kind of stuff, there's only so much I can do right now. Basically what's going over here, just before I turn it on, I'll, I'll give you the, the lowdown on what I've actually done. Basically you've got six completely independent sets of plates. Um, they're completely isolated. The fluid from each goes into its own storage tank and then goes out into the bubbler and um, because there's only gas pumping through these lines the fluid doesn't mix so every every fluid tank is t completely isolated from the next the uh, power basically let's see if I can get around here the negative terminal is coming on to these plates every second plate it's it's connected to so you can as you can see there's a physical connection to every single plate uh, there's no neutral plates in this setup. That going and goes through to the to the other set of plates and then goes around and it just links all the way across, all the way up until you get to the positive terminal on the other side. So that's how the power's done. So effectively it's been split up six times to give me the voltage drop, so I've got that, you know, 2.3 odd volts between each each plate. And then we go up and then uh, where are we going? the outlet of each cell goes into the top and then the return at the bottom these here I was talking about on the last video these valves at the top basically what that happens when I open that up is it allows fluid to return back from the bubbler into the storage tank that way I can just fill this one tank and then I can open these up to let more fluid back in and then as uh, the unit is run depending on how how hot I'm running it or well not hot but how much gas I'm producing how much power I'm putting into it this fluid will get pushed back out and just go back into the bubbler again so yeah, I'll turn it on now right now we're just going off this unit I've been using and it's limiting it because I've added a bit too much electrolyte and then so it's on 13 volts and 20 amps which I think is 100 260 watts so that's on 19 amps at the moment but that'll come up to 20 I'd say in a second and then she's pumping out it's pretty cool having it come out of all six of these pipes it's cool to watch and then as you can see the floor is returning back through the top from the between the plates and then that goes back down into the bottom again this is the side view so there's very little displacement of fluid at the moment um, it's, probably, it's only putting about uh, I'd say about 1.3 litres at the moment so I, I didn't expect it to push much of that fluid down it should be able to put out about 10 litres a minute if I can get enough juice into it, enough amps and this is the other side the fluid is right up to the top pretty much and that's the output there and that's the outlet there what I'll do now is I'll do a quick bubble test see exactly what our MMW is okay so yeah we're right on 20 amps and 13 volts which is 160 watts and I'm going to time this now and the stopwatch here I'll start it now because I've only got one hand to do it. And let's do a 30 second 30 second test once we get to 10 seconds. Starting now. It's 10 seconds. After this I'm going to um I've made a little bit of a burning tool with a bit of copper pipe so I'm going to hook that up and uh, cut through a bit of metal so that should be cool I'm also going to test the um, blowout valve 
Okay, coming up on 30 seconds. Now. So, you probably can't see that, but it's right on 650 milliliters. So, stop this. Across to our calculator. 650 milliliters in 30 seconds times 2 gives us 1.3 uh, liters a minute and then we divide that by the watts which is 260 which gives us 5 exactly 5 mmw exactly which is great the biggest thing I've noticed between this system and um, and a lot of the other ones I've done, the neutral plate sort of just setups, is uh, that this is a lot more stable. It's um, every time I've tested it over the last couple of weeks, it's been between 4.7 and and 5 mmw every time. With the neutral plate setup, even though the neutral plate setup does have some advantages in other ways, uh, the mmw was varying anywhere from. 4 to 5.3 which is a, a big difference where this is a lot more stable right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab a lighter and put some earplugs in and test out this blowout, blowout valve up here and then um, I've got a tin can down here and I'll burn some stuff alrighty I've got some earplugs in got the end of those here and a lighter you might not be able to see it very well because it's daytime maybe I'll do this test again at night time down the track Bang. Now that's quite a bit of space up in the top of the unit here that it's actually going off so I know that the uh, blow-up valve's working otherwise uh, I'd probably have bits of plastic everywhere. <laughs> I'll do that again. Sometimes it goes all the way up to the top and sometimes it doesn't. Put my finger on it. You get a bit of pressure build up so that it will definitely go all the way up. Whee! Probably can't see from there, but it, on the hose on the ground. Whoa, that was a good one. That one went all the way up. On the hose on the ground here, I can see the flame travel all the way through the hose here. Let's see if I can show you that. There you go. So, yeah, that's that. Alright, I'm going to cut some steel now. Alright, so here we've got this just this bit of copper pipe and I've crushed the end and I've made it so that there's only just a tiny little outlet. Took a bit of fiddling around to get the hole the right size. If it's too big it just back flashes straight away. If it's too small you build up too much pressure in the system. It's not perfect, it's a bit wide on one side and, and narrow on the other side, but you still get the, the idea. I've got some dark glasses on while I'm doing this. It's quite, um, quite a full-on thing on your eyes. Through beautifully. It's fast too, considering this is only 1.3 litres. Can you imagine what 10 litres will do? Nice big gash all the way down in a matter of seconds. So, yeah, that's working fine. I'll do some more of that down the track. I won't bore you with it too much for right now. I'll do it when I've got more gas going on. You see, you can do all sorts of stuff, little smiley faces. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for now. And um, I'm going to do some more tests and fiddle around a bit. And when I've got some more interesting stuff to show you, I'll do another video. I'm going to have to um, figure out a better way to get some more power into this and um, get a clip on uh, app meter so that I can tell exactly how much juice is going in. Because if I can't tell how much power I'm putting into it, there's, um, I can't tell how efficient it is. So couple of things I'm going to have to save up for and purchase. So yeah, till then, take care and uh, see you soon. Bye.